You know, Melissa, as the morning has progressed, the eye cams over there have just gotten gloomier and gloomier. <laughs> yes. It's kind of sad to watch. I know, especially New London. We had a few mm. peaks of sun early this morning if you were up watching us, but now the clouds are there, the rain is there. And you know what? It's going to be just one of those days. We're going to see the rain, pack the umbrella with you, and you may have to move some of your outdoor plans inside, but tomorrow is looking a whole lot brighter. So we'll look forward to that. And then a fairly quiet week ahead, so we will see quite a bit of sunshine. Uh, once we get through today. Now, speaking of the rain, you can see some of it has already developed, especially in New London County, parts of Middlesex County, uh, driving along 95 from Madison through Old Saybrook. We're talking about some New London area, Gales Ferry, Montville, Salem, and up Route 9 towards East Haddam and Haddam over there by the Good Speed Opera House. All a little wet right now. And in New Haven and Milford, you're dry so far but again that's going to be creeping on up we actually do need some rain it's been dry in recent days and we're about an inch and a half below normal for the month of may so any rain that we do see will be welcome and also for the drought monitor we're running abnormally dry in southern connecticut so this will certainly help temperatures outside right now are in the 50s to near 60 and they won't rise a whole lot today given the clouds and given the rain right now 59 in stores litchfield 57 berlin 60 and west haven 59 and folks in northern connecticut you'll see the rain latest folks along the shoreline you're seeing it first and the reason is we have this disturbance coming up from the south combining that with a cold front off to our west these two kind of joining forces today and bringing us quite a bit of precipitation so again there's plenty down to the south that's moving up and we'll just see this kind of continuing throughout the course of the morning afternoon and evening so you'll see that here on futurecast as i roll on through the timeline this is one o'clock this afternoon, so by that time we'll have some steady, moderate, if not at times, heavy rain across the state. And as I put this into motion, you can see that continues through dinner time tonight, and even in the later evening hours, we might even see a rumble here, a rumble or two of thunder. Um, that all moves off to the east shortly after midnight, and by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, we'll see breaks of sunshine, and I think tomorrow will be a partly, if not mostly, sunny day with high temperatures well into the 70s. So a great day to get outside and enjoy um, all the outdoor activities tomorrow. Now, in terms of how much rain, don't pay too much attention to exactly where these highest totals will be, but we do think that we'll see some heavier rain bands that will set up at times, and that will cause anywhere from one to two, if not three inches of rain even locally higher amounts. So if you're going to be traveling across the state today, make sure you take it slowly. There could be some ponding on the roadways. And if you live in a typically flood-prone area, there may be some minor uh, flooding concerns too. So we'll certainly keep you posted throughout the day. Folks heading to see Taylor Swift tonight. I wish I had a better forecast for you. Last night was gorgeous. Tomorrow is going to be gorgeous. It's today that we'll be dealing with some rain. So pack the rain gear and 64 degrees. Here's a live look outside right now in downtown Hartford. We're still dry in the Hartford area at 59 degrees. But boy, has it changed in New London. We had a few peaks of sun early. Now it's cloudy. It's rainy. 61 degrees. Winds out of the southeast at Eight. As we take a look at your highs for today, mid 60s, I think, is all we're going to manage today. Low 60s in some spots. Tonight we'll drop down into the 50s. And then once we get through today's rain, we've got some good news on the forecast for not only tomorrow, but for several days. A good deal of sunshine with temperatures in the 70s. That is pretty nice.